What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is a continuation of the How To Use The iPhone 5 series. If you missed any of those videos, the link is in the description. Go ahead, watch those videos and learn how to use your phone. Anyway guys, today's video is all about iMessage. I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it on, how to turn it off, as well as go through all the settings within the iMessage settings tab. Turning iMessage on or off on your iPhone 5 is super easy. All you need to do is go into your settings tab, scroll down to messages, give that a tap, and you'll be in the iMessage settings area. As you can see, it says iMessage at the top. If you swipe that to the right, you'll turn iMessages on. You'll have a couple of settings here, which we'll get into in just a second, but to turn iMessage off, all you need to do is swipe to the left. Within the iMessage settings tab here, you have a couple of settings you can also play around with. The first one being send read receipts. This is basically going to allow others to be notified when you have read their messages. You also have a send as SMS feature here. An SMS is basically a text message. So in case iMessage is unavailable or goes down or you're having data issues or something, it'll send it as a text message. So that's just a good way to have a backup in case you have a problem. Also, you have a couple of other settings here at the bottom, SMS slash MMS, MMS messaging, basically allowing you to send pictures, show subject field, a little subject bar will pop up at the top and you can kind of create a subject for your messages and you have character count to keep track of how many characters you've used in your message. So that's basically how you use iMessage, how to turn it on, how to turn it off, and a couple of the settings inside. These are the settings I you know, use most of the time. And unless I'm having an issue, I'll turn iMessage off. But other than that, this is basically how I run with iMessages. Anyway, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, remember, hit that like button right there down below. If you're on a tablet, look for it in the description or on the video itself. And I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one.